Hello everyone, my name is Anna Strzelec and as a customer success specialist, I help Cisco DNA customers to move smoothly through the deployment phases and save time on resolving their network challenges. In this DNA Center video, I will show you how to verify telemetry, check overall network and client assurance details, and we are also going to take a look at the issues remediation. Sounds interesting? Are you ready to start? In this part of the video, we will verify the telemetry. In order to do it, you have to click on the button in the left corner that will expand the Cisco DNA Center menu. Um, in order to verify the telemetry, we have to go to the design and later on to the network settings. Here on the bar, you are able to see the telemetry and once we click on the uh, tab, uh, you are able to see SNMP traps, syslogs configuration, netflow and wired client data collection. All of those configurations will be deployed once your devices are assigned to a site or provisioned. You can also verify more details about the SNMP collector if you click here on view details. You are able to see what SNMP metrics gonna be pulled from a device and at what interval. Once your devices are already assigned to the site, you will be able to gather the telemetry data from it, which is going to be displayed within the Assurance tab within the Cisco DNA Center. In this part of the video, we're going to go to the Assurance tab and we're going to verify which information you are able to see from there. In order to do it, let's go to the menu one more time. And this time we're going to go to the Assurance tab and from the dashboards, we're going to choose the Help dashboard. Here, first of all, we are able to see the overall information about our network devices as well as wired and wireless clients. We are able to see what's the health of our network devices and what is the total amount of those devices managed by Cisco DNA Center and the same for wired and wireless client. We are able to see the health of it, the amount of wired clients that are collected to our network and the same for the wireless clients. We can see how many of those clients are currently active. At the bottom, we can see top 10 issues happening in our network, which means issues that are the most frequently happening. And if we go to the network tab, we will be able to see more information about our network devices. We are able to see how many of those devices we are managing by Cisco DNA Center, how many of them are healthy and how many are not. And you can also see that the health of device is corresponding to the different colors. So green color in the Cisco DNA Center means that the device is in a good state. And the um, yellow color is corresponding to the fair health of the device. If the device is colored in red, it means that there are some issues happening on the device and the um, device health is poor. If we scroll down, we will be able to see the list of our network devices in more details. If we click on the overall health score, you will be able to see all the KPIs, KPIs that we are taking into consideration when calculating the device health. And you need to remember that the device health is the minimum of all the KPI health scores. It means that even though all my KPI is going to be scored as 10, if my CPU utilization is going to be scored as 5, the overall health of device is going to be 5. There are different KPIs for the wireless network devices and different for the wired. Now, 
Let's take a look what we can see in the client tab. If we click on a client tab, we will be able to see more information about our wireless clients and wired clients. So I am able to see that I have three active clients on the wireless clients and out of those three clients, two of them have a good connectivity and one of them has a fair connectivity. We are also able to see more information about the wireless clients as a client onboarding times, connectivity RSSI, uh, client roaming times and how many clients I have connected per SSID. And at the very bottom, there's also a list of my client devices. I am able to see wireless clients, their IP address, the help of the wireless clients, the access points that those wireless clients are connected to and on which band they are connected. If I change the filter, I will be able to see my wired client and also the IP address that each of the wired client has, the health score of the wired clients, to which switch they are connected through which port and the location that they have in the Cisco DNA Center. In the last part of that video, we're going to take a look at the issues remediation that Cisco DNA Center can offer us. In order to do it, let's go back to the menu. Let's click on Assurance tab and this time we're going to choose the Issues dashboard. From the Issues dashboard, you are able to see all of the issues that are open, resolved or ignored within that specified time range, which is 24 hours here. We're going to change this time range to seven days for the sake of that video. And after applying changes, we can see all the issues that has happened in the last seven days. Let's take a look here at the radio high utilization issue. Once we click on it, we're going to see a bit of more details about it. First of all, we are able to see which device we are talking about and what kind of device is affected by this issue. We can also see the amount of times that the issue has happened and what was the last time when it has occurred. From this menu, you can also mark that issue as resolved if that issue is already not valid for your network or you can simply ignore the issue. If you wish to troubleshoot it more further, if we click on it, we're going to see a, more information uh, regarding it. First of all, we can see from that graph that the issue was triggered because we have exceeded the threshold, which is 70%. Uh, that was set on the DNA center. If we scroll down, we're going to see the suggested actions that are here by um, done by Cisco DNA center to make your troubleshooting easier. You can also see that some of the suggested action has the run button next to it. And if we expand the suggested action, we can see that DNA Center is suggesting us to collect some commands from the device. So normally you would go to the command line and you would collect those outputs. What you can do with the Cisco DNA Center, you can simply click run and Cisco DNA Center will collect those outputs for you so you can analyze them straight away. We reached the end of this video. I hope you find here some practical tips and inspirations for your Cisco DNA Center journey. Check also other related videos and resources I recommend for you in the description below. Good luck and goodbye for now.